Morning, everyone. Nice to be here. Let's all stand up, shall we, and just greet one another and say, I'm glad that I'm living in Australia and I would like to see the figures turned around from 96% not going to church to 96% going to church. Let's stand up and just greet one another. In August, we went up to Brisbane and I sang at the, uh, the big new entertainment centre there. It holds 17,000 people. And there was only 1,000 turned up to hear me. It was Sunday morning, one of the Amway meetings and Peter McKenna shouted us over, my wife and I, and 36 people gave their heart to the Lord in that morning service. Wasn't that wonderful? And then we just got back and they asked us to go over to Victoria. So we went down to Geelong. And uh, it was just after the Eagles had thrashed the pants off them. And uh, they said, whatever you do, don't talk about the Eagles tonight. That was lovely Joe Bowes. They're doing the same sort of work in Geelong as we're doing here. They've gone out and bought a great big ice skating rink. And they're going to turn it into a wonderful church right in the middle of Geelong. Then we went up to Bendigo where the gold mine is. And we went 300 metres down a gold mine. And uh, we saw a wonderful church project there that they're getting off the ground. Went up to Melbourne and saw the same thing happening there. And do you know what thought struck me? That it doesn't matter what part of Australia you go to, there are wonderful people out there. We've got some beautiful country cousins living in Victoria. And our job is to get them saved. I was walking down the street there and the Lord gave me this little song. There's a certain kind of Australian you call the average sort of bloke. And when you talk to him about the church and Jesus, he thinks it's some kind of joke. But when he wants to get married, or you're back in a hearse, or he has a blue, he goes down to the local church to see what the preacher can do. 96% plus four, 96% plus four. I want to go to heaven when I die. But it's 96.4 Out of a hundred Australians Only 4% go to church The other 96% stay home And they leave the preachers in the lurch They'd rather take a picnic Do the gardening or take a nap Or go down to the footy field And slip on an eagle's cap 96% plus 4, 96% plus 4 I want to go to heaven when I die But it's 96% plus 4 But when it comes to a funeral It's amazing what the average blokes do Stick great flowing ads in the paper And they call in a preacher or two To say a few words at the graveside Cos after all it might be true what Jesus said about heaven and hell I want to go to heaven, don't you, don't you I want to go to heaven, don't you 96% plus 4 96% plus 4 I want to go to heaven when I die But it's 96% plus 4 <laughs> I thought it was 98.2, so I made that song, but the, the preachers over there enlightened me, it's not, it's 96%, stay home. This morning as you came to church, you'd find they're playing softball, cricket, football, or whatever, whatever, rowing on the river, gardening, picnicking, they're doing the whole thing, 96% of them, 4% of us are going to church. And out of that 4%, how, do you, how many do you reckon are really born again, tongue-talking, spirit-filled, saved, Holy Ghost, lovely Christians? It'd be amazing just how many is in that number. But we've got a job to do, haven't we? Now, when I go over the other side, we went to New Zealand from top to bottom, I found the same hunger in New Zealand as I find back here in Perth. The same hunger was in Brisbane. Wonderful Brisbane. 
Beautiful, beautiful Queensland Up where the wildflowers grow with, you remember that one, the old text more than used to sing? Hallelujah. Well, I sang that up there and I asked for a show of hands and out of a thousand people, only nine people knew it. Isn't that incredible? So I'm going to sing this one. Beautiful Western Australia Out where the wildflowers grow We're proud of our beautiful climate Where we never see ice or snow you can live on the plains or the mountains Or down where the sea breezes blow And you're still in beautiful Western Australia The most wonderful state that I know Praise the Lord But my message today My message today is That the only thing that's stopping this church be filled to the overflowing and every other church in the city to be filled to overflowing is you and me. We're simply not telling enough people out there about the wonderful love of Jesus Christ. I find in my own life that unless I force myself to tell people things, I'll never do it. I'll talk about the football, the weather, you know, you're going out for a picnic this afternoon, anything but the lovely, wonderful salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. God said, there's no other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. There's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. Our message today is that we're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God under salvation. To the Jew, it's a stumbling block. To the Greek, it's foolishness. But to us who are saved, it's the power of God. And we need to get out there and tell people about the wonderful saving power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you one way you can do it. Network marketing works like this. You get three or four under you, they get four or six, they get a hundred and before long, the whole thing is a network of people believing to sell a certain product. Well, I feel if we could do the same thing, we've got a telephone book at home, all we need to do is to get the phone book, run through a few names and make a few calls. So I wrote this little song, which will, will encourage you to do it. And it works. I've proved it in my own life. It works. Hallelujah. Now, it doesn't take much to keep in touch with your friends each day. Just grab a phone and speak right up. This is what you say. Hi, I've been thinking about you. And I thought I'd call today and tell you that I love you in a very special way. But God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you If you'll give your heart to Jesus, he will see you through Now it's written in the word of God and I've proved it to be true If you communicate with God, he'll talk back to you And it doesn't cost one cent to call and you can talk all day Give your cares to Jesus He'll take them all away God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you If you'll give your heart to Jesus He will see you through Now it doesn't take much to keep in touch By the post each day A pad, a pen, an envelope and stamp And this is what you say Hi, I've been thinking about you and I thought I'd write today And tell you that I love you in a very special way But God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you If you'll give your heart to Jesus, he will see you through Now it doesn't take much to keep in touch with our God each day just drop on your knees and throw up your hands and turn to him and say Hi God, I'm thinking about you And I thought I'd call today And tell you that I love you in a very special way But God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you If you'll give your heart to Jesus, he will see you through All together God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you if you give your heart to Jesus, he will see you through. God loves you and Jesus died on that cross for you. If
If you give your heart to Jesus, He will see you through. Now you notice I've got my little chili bin here. You haven't got rid of me yet. <laughs> this little chili bin comes all the way from New Zealand. Over there, we, we call them coolers or little ice boxes here, but over in uh, New Zealand, they call them chili buns because they can't say it. They say over the hills instead of over the hills. They can't even speak English. But I bought out some of my tapes today. A lady rang the other day and she said, Ken, I wonder if you've got a couple of tapes you can sell me. And I said, I sure have. And she said, I want to buy seven. So I said, why is that, darling? She said, so I can find a little bit of gold out there. The secret of finding gold is keep on looking. It's laying out there on the ground. God bless you all. Hallelujah.